A beautiful Sunday for softball in Atlanta as we welcome you to our coverage on ACC Network today from Mewbourne Field, the deciding third game of our series between the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets and the Louisville Cardinals. It is Bark at the Park. Mewbourne Field has gone to the dogs. You've heard of a three-man booth? Well, how about an eight-legged booth? Uh, that's because we have quite the party here at Mewbourne today. I mean, the owners have to pay. Admission is free if you have four legs. <laughs> we'll put you to work as that one misses a bit inside. Hass takes her base on the leadoff walk. And that's, he took a belt, belt high pitch over the outer part of the plate over the, <laughs> over the 220 yesterday. A swing and a miss, but it gets away from Hunter. And everybody going to be safe. The strikeout, wild pitch. Frizzell beats the wrap. She's at first native of Locust Grove. Four-year starter for the Panthers and the 310 career average, 274 in her first season at Louisville. A weak roller to the right of the circle. Fielded by Dennis, two away. As Hess advances to third. A little hairy. And then all of a sudden, it's like a brand new team yeah. facing her offensively. Grounded sharply, but right to Domini. Up with it easily, and the side retired. No runs, no hits. One left. We'll introduce your Georgia Tech junior from New Palestine, Indiana. Great arm for the Cardinals. Boo's got an incredible balls to strikes ratio. She's seven in the ACC with walks issued. Oh, snag behind the bag at third by Grant. Comes up firing, but Allen beats it out. What a one, a third of an inning allowed one hit, three runs, none of them were earned to walk and a strikeout. She did appear quite a bit in the Duke series not too long ago and was a, played a huge role in the first four innings, only issued one earned run in their win against Duke to make the ACC tournament, no doubt. So this is a really big series for both of them to prove the work that they've done, prove their consistency, and ultimately compete for postseason. Swing and a miss as Edmund, Edmund tries to climb the regional, a win over Northern Kentucky. Battling with Gailey with two on, one out. And that hits her. Tried yeah. to run one in on the hands, but missed the spot, and the base is now loaded. Speaks volumes about how consistent you are around the zone. Grounds one to third. Gun to home for the force. Throw on is late to first. But the lead runner is out. Bases stay loaded, but now two away. Dominique trying to do forward. That ball is driven into the gap in right center. One hops the wall, could clear the bases. Dobbins slides into second with a double. All three runs come around and score with two outs, and the Yellow Jackets jump ahead 3-0. That's Seasoned veteran, the senior from Huntersville, North Carolina. Pulls the string, runner takes off, throw down, tag down, and got her. Dobbins was breaking on the ball in the dirt, but Goff came up firing. As the count's gone full, thought that was strike three, but it was a foul instead. This one popped up. Black battling the sun. That was in fair territory, but she makes the catch. Dennis winds and fires and freezes her. Inside corner, striped it on Grant, two away. And attacked yet from the Cardinals. Only base runner was the Hess walk to lead off the first. Off the end of the bat, lifted into right. Dobbins pulls it in, and the Cardinals go down in order. Flashed all across the Georgia Tech record books. Seven, eight, nine, two up for the Jackets, beginning with Hunter, who gets jammed. Out toward third, flag down by Grant. One pitch, one out. I love the uh, in a roundabout way, Andy. It there's really no kind of depends. Yeah, there's yeah. no one-size-fits-all right, formula. Right, right. 
count level at two on Hillman. A one hopper reaching out Grant. She's been active, but she has been alert. Waiting on the 2 1 from Holloway. Puts a swing on it, and the topspin went well by Richardson. Tricky hop, handled it deftly, and the Jackets go down in order. Let's we'll see if I can do it, Andrew Dimitri does this. Winkler lines this one out to left center field. Hillman tracking it over her glove for an easy out to start the inning. Den one to try to score some runs and keep her team alive. 3-2 pitch, fouled back and out of place. And caught by one of our fans. And it looks like we have the Sports Center top 10 caliber fans in the crowd today. That was a one-handed, bare hand catch. And he was and still. And the chicken tenders did not leave the basket. We were joking around that yesterday. And he's looking around, where, who do I give this to? I, I got to focus. Um, we were joking around yesterday. None of our fans made any catches. And Goff will take ball four. So Dennis really battled through that at bat. But and walk she had against Dennis in the first inning. Extended her streak to 21 straight games, reaching safely. The 3-2 pitch from Dennis. Swung on, line through the 5-6 hole. Will make it out to the grass, but she'll keep it to a single field. Swung on through the 5-6 hole. Hillman comes up throwing, and that will go to the plate, but Coach April will hold up. The runner, and a little bit of a miscommunication between player and coach, and the lead runner in the box. Takes for ball four, and that will walk in a run, the first of the day for the Cardinals. So that'll bring the score three to one. Now the Cardinals trail by only two. Yep. Said Andy was responsible for the home run. And she'll check her swing. The appeal down the line to the third base umpire is that she did go on Cardinals offense. One two pitch from Dennis. Rung her up for strike three. Chandler Dennis back to back strikeouts. Ground ball up the middle. Hess gloves it up. On the run over to one in time. A beautiful play. Daisy Hess, and it's four straight set down by Holloway. And back to back ground balls to the shortstop. Hess handles it again over to one in time to retire Mallory Black. So down go the top producer. Ground ball up the middle, Holloway gloves it, bobbles it, but is able to handle it in time over to one. No damage done, no runs, no hits aboard. Spot in the ACC tournament bracket. Louisville trying to secure their spot to go to punch their ticket to the tournament. Lined hard from Grant. Edgman trails this one all the way to the warning track and gloves it up over her shoulder and a beautiful catch to retire Grant quick in the box as a hitter and in the circle. Why not be a great academic? Why not be a great person as yeah. well? You're capable of more and she'll draw the walk on a 3-1 count. She'll reach base safely for the first time in two games. Well-rounded. Her hobbies include shopping and playing with your dog. <laughs> oh, she is right at home here at Bark at the Park. Yeah, today's a good day for Winkler. Lined out to right field. Dobbins tracking it over her right shoulder. Catches it for out number two and throws it in. Base percentage. She entered the weekend 150 on her batting average, 447 on base. Definitely a patient batter. 2-2. Two -two. Rung her up. The second inning, Chandler Dennis has today was hit by a pitch did come around to score thanks to the bases clearing double from Dobbins. 
Swings on a ground ball. Richardson gloves it up on the backhand side over to first for out number one. Extension. And still a chance to make the Cardinals pay for that muffed pop foul. Ooh. And a beautiful change up. And that'll ring up Dominique. Rout out of a threatening situation. Holloway hasn't issued a walk in the last five pitching appearances that she's had. So uncharacteristic day. Liner, easy out to Richardson. And Holloway works out of a jam with two outs. Swung on a 2-2 pitch in the river. And Sophia Voiles records her first strikeout. Whether they're, they're focus narrows or they just latch onto the rhythm of the game. Frizzell is certainly one of them. Called third strike, change up, outer half of the plate, and that's. Three two pitch swung on three straight strikeouts for Sophia. It's quiet since she's entered the game. Hillman swings on a beautiful pitch on the inside part of the plate, and Holloway records her second strikeout of the appearance. And this is a team that's up past 320 collectively. And a walk issued from Holloway on a 3 1 pitch, so Saleo will drop the third base box. Swung on and missed. Strikeout. Alyssa Zabala comes in and finished up her day. And the outside pitch. Leo takes off and wow, did the a safe miss call. Her? A beautiful throw from Goff. Get a drum roll. And the call on the field stands to count two outs. And the decision, Zabala misses low, so Mallory will walk. That's her second walk. Edgman's a junior standing in. Swung on out to left field in foul territory. Thatcher will run it down and no damage done. Eight. RBI's 27 and 28 on second on the team as she turns on one, tags one down the line, and gone. Wow. Another one from Miller, and it's 3-2. Absolutely smoked from Vanessa Miller. We've been talking all day about the, the Louisville Cardinal effect, that late game production that keeps them in and competing against top teams. And look at this beautiful swing. Puts a charge in it, sends it over the wall. Cardinals start to feel some deja vu here in the sixth, 3 2. And touch of all, Vanessa Miller. Approach and put in two power hitters to avoid the, the shift. Another backwards K from Boyles, one away. Later portion of your season and postseason. And if she can continue this, it's going to be a great weekend. And the 3 1 misses outside, one out walk for Grant become so much smarter and more disciplined as we go on. And the 3-2, grounded toward third. Black positioned well, low throw, but it's dug out by Gailey, two away. You love to see if you can tell they're dialed in. Cardinals 0 for 5 with two outs today. Swing and a miss. Foyles climbs the ladder and quiets the threat. The Cardinals pick up a run on the Miller homer, but Reached out and poked into left. It's grabbed by a hasp, but the throw pulls Frizzell off the bag. Lead off base hit by Gailey. What a layout by Hess in the Georgia Tech sixth. Connolly, the junior from Sewanee. Swinging and sending it into center. Winkler is there, makes the catch one away. 
And a great swing from Kame from the right-handed hitter, and she's got such great spin in her curveball. You have to let it all the way into your swing, and she topped 69 on Friday, so Velo's there. Hess from a knee, slings his second for one, really to first, not in time. Dobbins avoids the double play, but Hess triggers the forest for out number two. In, in the seventh, and had a single. A bouncer toward first. And easy play by Frizzell. They're not there catching the corner, and for Sophia Voiles, she's finding that spot. Deals the one two, and gets a soft pop into left. Hillman calls off Saleo, one away. She go with here. On a three two. Fly ball right field, no carry. Dobbins breaks in, two away. Almost looked like she wanted that same pitch, same location. The 1-1 one, one is crossed deep to left, over the scoreboard, and out of here. And with two outs, Frizzell has tied it up. Riley Frizzell does it yet again this weekend for her Cardinals team. What a leader in the box. Was key in production yesterday to tie the game for the Cardinals. Does it again here today and does it loud with a huge home run. Doesn't get the pitch call she wants, just one pitch prior. Finds it again, that curveball on the inner half that has made Voyle so successful so far in this appearance today and charges it out over the scoreboard. That's Swing and a miss. Lewitt Byer. And the Cardinals, after they're done here in Atlanta, they'll actually play UNC at Chapel Hill before they get to close out the eighth ACC. And reached out, flown into left center. No. Winkler in retreat, off the oh. top of the wall, and it bounces back in. Saleo cruising through second, headed to third. Oh, she was an inch from going out of the park. Top of the wall, I mean, Inches, how did this, centimeters. How did that not bounce over instead of back? See it again. I mean, that is at the dead top of the wall. Outside corner. She's tracking it all the way in. Man, this is what softball fans' dreams are made of. Swing and a miss. Got her chasing two outs. Let's turn. Swung on, reached out, poked down the line. Miller tracking it, makes the catch, and we play on. It's when they were 0-14 in that situation, entering Saturday. Strike three on the outside corner. Wow, a beautiful pitch from North. Norton again with the 2-2, freezes her outside corner. And a second straight called, third strike twirled by Kinsey Norton. Three and two thirds and not allow a hit to a Tech team that entered 17th in the nation in average. Cardinal still would not have a chance were it not for her job in relief as that's deposited into center field, a two out base hit by Grant. Yeah, I think that's what you look back on this weekend and really try to understand. There have been a definite adjustments made off the hands, fisted into foul territory. Tricky spin, but Black loves it, and the side retired. No runs, a hit, one left. No. Game yesterday, both off of Zabala, the only jacket to have record multiple base hits. Low it outside, lead off walk. And she will reach base safely in this game as well, folks. Five straight games. Well, quickly behind on Zabala, nothing in two. A weak roller, oh, tricky spin. Zabala handles, throws to first. And in time for the first out, but Edgman, Mobert situation. I'm pretty sure she's had a smile on her face the entire weekend long. Fly ball, left field, got some ride. Out towards center, Winkler hauls it in, crashing into the wall. Edgman tags up, she's into third standing. And a beautiful Dominique to advance the runner up to third. Deep fly ball. 
at the warning track. That's a great catch from Winkler out there to track it all the way in. Reese Hunter would be next. As the ball twirls the 3 0, it's low. Didn't want to make anything too good in case the green light was on on 3 0. And they're around the zone. Anytime she throws something on an edge and it's a called ball. Jammed her and skies it towards short. Has back, pulls it in. And we continue as the ball of one. Fought her way into the lineup. The defensive shift from the Jackets has kind of eliminated the threat from the slappers. And here she is. Lines out on a sharp liner to Dominique at second for the first out of the inning, but. <laughs> was it something we said? Was it? Was it something I've said? Fisted towards second and on to first. To a word. Can you ask for a closer softball game? High and outside, walk to Frizzell. Richardson is 0 for 3 with an RBI walk and out by any means is what Norton is thinking to tame this Louisville threat in the ninth. Here's the wind and the 1 2. Richardson in the air towards left. Hillman drifting back, has it measured, has the catch. And the Cardinals strand a pair. A hit batter, a walk, but nothing across against Norton. Yes. Bunts it back towards Zabala, handles it, guns it, one away. One-one, lifted right center, diving attempt. Miller comes up empty. Wow! And Chinsaleo reaches again. Jackets to make that adjustment here. It's a ball of three walks, three strikeouts. Deals the three-two. Cut on, popped up. Pass retreats, two away. If you're a power hitter, you're probably not going to be looking for an off-speed with a two-zero count. Fly ball, hit well. No and way. Hit out of here. A walk off home run. Mallory Black, she's done it again. You can bet on Black all season long. Mallory Black walks it off for the Jackets. Georgia Tech takes the series against Louisville. Couldn't ask for a better hit and a beautiful cut. swing. And she knew it the moment it left her bat. One more look. Mallory Black, her second home run of the weekend. The Power Five's most prolific home run hitter off of Alyssa Zabala with two outs. 5-3 is how this one ends. And Georgia Tech, in nine innings, takes the series over the Cardinals.